UK. And this is anticipation by Cold Zero. They've not had any contact toward that boiler position with two players playing that far forward. They start the rotation early and they're going to go for the flank. This is full commitment from Complexity. No other option. What? And from straight above, no. Cold Zero fires directly down. They got blocked inside of the smoke and Cold gets four on the pistol. It's gone from Jackie here, holding towards the car position once again. Same mentality. They do check it this time and get a trade, so that's better than nothing. Much better as Death gets the second as well. But Cold Zero will be dropped. This, this is the, looking very good. Yeah, first time. Oh, the lineup though. Tarek steals it back. No way. It did look very good. First time that the duel, when they've walked out on that occasion, has gone the way of complexity. And great read from Death. He knew that they were going to get re -peaked. If Stewie was going to bait them in, he was going to try and trade off of it. Death's still doing fantastic work. We'll take Fur down as well. But that lineup gives them the bomb. Tarek able to collect two. Smokes himself off as well. That gives him. Transfer along the top of the mid wall. Yeah, new position that. to work with. Bombs in boiler room right now, so that's why he wants to smoke. He's not looking for a gap. He's just trying to run that clock down as much as possible. It's going to take them another 15 seconds or so to pick that up and work out what their next move is. At that stage, Matt, they can't go towards B anymore. They have to commit towards A, and Tarek knows that. So keep your eye on the clock and realize now that he knows exactly where they have to go, and they both go towards boiler. This could be a little bit of an awkward moment for them because they're going to have to commit and walk out. Tarek's playing this so smart. Doesn't nail the first shot cleanly, but he does oh. get it in the end. Ten seconds remaining. Depp has to go for him. Clock running down, and he will make his way towards garbage, and that's the kill. So he still has pressure heading his way. Shoulder beat from Depp. Too slow on the second one, I'm afraid. Cold never even bought it, never even moved. Good play, though, toward Arch, at least. Stank and wrap. Tarek's in the open. If he wraps faster, it doesn't even matter. Shazam's going to get him down. They know Cold's inside of the pit. Smoke still in front of Library. Good read good take ball needs to get in position it's caught fallen has it 23 seconds they can just barely recover it android makes a run for it and gets away knowing that fallen had to reset but the flashes and incendiaries go in crisscross fashion it doesn't quite reach android it bounced away smoke has a massive gap that funnels them toward the wall mind you hp is so low as well on the complexity side they backed off to go for the bounce flash in through that allows stewie a little bit closer on the m4 still looking spots android but not before his head gets taken off and falling on an op make it at least expensive perhaps as he can keep them both near enough to the bomb he's a kit to work with but missed first shot on the awp he's gonna have to back out it's two in a row for complexity well there we go that's more like it because if they go in that close together i don't think shazam's able to respond the boost the run boost to that he spotted he certainly gets taken down the feet still show but yay recovers great idea to run boost onto the atrium unfortunately it's the one position that easily countered it Great trade in the corner. Bomb has left that far inside of the site. Fortunately, they've already crossed over to grab that before Fallen was ready to read them like a book from library. As Death flashes back in that direction, Fallen forced off the angle. That gives him a bit of more room to maneuver. Deep inside the corner, he wants them to fully commit, but instead they head the other direction. They'll wrap around. That leaves Death little to work with if they get that far. Android now becomes the best defense. Tony on the bike right now, great angle, but Stewie's already made it towards the hay bales here. This could be a little bit problematic, his teammate might drop here, but Stewie can't find the frag just yet. A really awkward duel on the bomb side, but Death will come out on top as Android closes. The His two kills are massive, MIBR knew the situation went aggressive as a result. Fallen's rotated around, bringing the op in slowly, and they line up, they make it all too easy. I thought he might get away with one as they were searching inside of the site, but round all but done, surely. Shazam left with 23, they know exactly where he is. What a way to steal it back. First in five, and they keep all five alive. Well, there we go. And now, CT's looking to fall back that crossfire once again. Very fast with complexity here. Tarek was spotted, his shoulder just slightly extending beyond the wall when the flash came in, so Ye got posted and ready. Fortunately, no one able to spot him from inside of the site while well, he did so. Bomb goes down, it sits to the man advantage on the complexity side. Now, remember, this is a reset, but... Yeah, could be in towards the logs, tries to pre-fire the angle, but now Tarek's gonna be tested, looking for another double spray down in the same position. These are not gonna angles. happen. These off angles that they're holding on the MIBR side, complexity is expecting to wide peak with two players, and they keep getting caught in the lineup as a result. That's almost the third time this game they had a two-man spray down, if you include, I guess, the AWP from Fallen as a spray down. Four on four, they head back the other direction. They have the HP advantage again. Cold, you mentioned it. He held his ground despite being tagged so severely, but he has an AWP, so that 16 may not be to his detriment so long as position favors him. Fallen 
Good timing on the flash, and Smoke is forced oh. off the angle. Couldn't sneak back out to where he found such great success last time, but he's got balls of steel to push through. The Smoke couldn't find the shot. Stewie's going to follow in his footsteps, I thought. I was going to say that's ill-advised with no further utility, but bomb plant complexity. They're going to have to save again. That was Fallen's last ditch attempt to actually try and make something happen. Complexity rises, and making sure anyone who goes down is instantly answered back. Oh, that nade strike somehow gets away from Ye. That could have been him down, but the contest from MIBR, relentless pressure. It's starting to become the point, or at least the focal point of every single round is that banana contest to try and get map control and pays off massively for MIBR's Android. Held at bay once more by a Tarek Molotov. Sneak out as soon as it extinguishes. No yet, or not yet any attention from Fallen as they don't suspect his arrival as of yet. Tarek still watching it though. It does push him back. Dink through the edge of the balcony, leaves him on 67. Look at Stewie, pushed all the way down. And this is smart as well, does not need to go any further, does not need to overextend, gets information, actually elects to take the shot. I thought he might just sit there and contain them. Could relay that quite quickly to his teammates, but either way, they make do on it. Cole pops out. No problems at all here for MIBR. Android left to try and cause some financial damage, but maybe good for one, not quite cold, zero up, one drop and down. Stewie. That a lot of people know this is how he plays. He needs to be careful here, but nails the shot, of course. He ties to perfection. I it's injury as well. I wouldn't mind seeing more of his POV on that, because I think the angle he was playing, he could still, as yeah. long as he's not 4x3, because, but on his settings, could still see actually their legs, but was ready to look from the flash. He was Indeed. kind of preparing for both eventualities, and it pays off. Well, looking much better here, MIBR. Even for their sixth round, I think it's guaranteed at this point. The orbs, the, the double orbs, have uh, been sensational. Oh, yeah. And that's no different for Calm as he finishes off round number 13. Cold Zero keeping it pretty standard. And there's the Molotov deployed, and Death will actually have it extinguished for him, so they can still fight. Extinguished, but he, they know he had to peek out on his left side. They cover that off. Fallen's going to find Stan again. It's going the same way. Finally, a response, but he's completely surrounded. Nowhere to hide for Shazam. No prayer could save him inside of the chapel as Tarek occupies that space, and wow. he absolutely will evict anyone coming that direction. Sam doesn't really favor the Deagle at range, but Stan's got the corner covered. Great nade. It's off his mouth a little bit. Quite as much as they'd love. Stan gets two. CZ showing off for him yet again. Cole trades it back. That was inevitable as he went for the reload, but Ye now knows which side they're coming from. He'll swing. Remember, Shazam still sits in that corner as Cold has to hold off toward Moto. Has fallen as well. Slows the pace. He's the one with the bomb. Above him, inside of the apartments, is where Tarek hopes to enter from. Smoke down means he can actually jump out and join Fallen by going left. 11 seconds. Keep an eye on Fallen. 11 seconds. Has to plant the bomb. He can't. Now they have to stay alive. That's going to be a task. No, it's not. Cool. Got no chance. Round stolen back, finally, by Complexity. They're going to kill him off at the time as well. That's brutal. From Complexity. Down. MP9 and two UMPs. MP9 at range, Shazam makes it work. Meanwhile, back over to B, that's where the action is. Def can't find the shot before the smoke blooms. And as such, allows them the entrance onto the site. Even just one would have deterred them enough that perhaps the bomb plant becomes a little bit more vulnerable, given the time. Six seconds, Derek just barely gets it down. Def can't fire through. Try desperately to fire the wall bang from the altar, but Tarek holding water. Felt like it's one away. of those rounds that was going to connect, but uh, not quite. Now, the post-plant situation continues. Fallen opens things up, takes down one of the key players of complexity. That's Ye. I don't think the CTs have much of a chance in this one now. They're just trying to contain the terrorists and make sure as many players go down as possible. But it looks like MIBR have done it. At least this particular round, great shot from Stan there to punish Stewie. Try and remove as much cast as you possibly can. Sure, yeah. they're going to win the round, but look at the money remaining for them. Everyone fully invested here as Stan just continues to put bodies in back. Just needs there. one kill here. That will be enough. You can his teammates so far away does a little bit of damage there but gives up his position he is alone here on the a side taken down by fur this was looking so good for complexity but all of a sudden it starts to fall apart only advantage they have now is the hp one as mibr get themselves in the crossfire the retake begins ball and epic could peek out and find death he's not looking if he goes now he's a dead man surely but death gets one just before Fallen peaks, that reveals his position. Shazam and Fallen, each with one bullet from death. Fallen has the advantage. He goes back out. Shazam walks straight into it. Shazam kept a watchful eye in toward the apartments. They don't have a lot of range, but he wants to sneak up. He's dinked. Tarek doesn't need to play this. They have to swing together. They do. Android somehow manages to get the shot on Tarek. Even though Ye was really left with nowhere to go, that works out. But they give up. Arch, do they? No, Stan. Second shot. The last bullet from the gun. He's going to get all four. A shutdown at the arch. And this approach towards the A-site. 
Yay, blinded, can't find footing. Terex able to win it out instead, but as you say, Android still sitting in the pit. Oh my goodness. Had a chance to catch them all. Ball and checks it. Again, you can never discount MIBR. They find a way to plant the bomb. They keep five players alive and doing it in death holding from library. They both want to go through the door together. They'll let the op go first as Shazam wants the far shot. Stan, impressive in the last round. Needs to be absolutely perfect. And this That's one is sneaking other. into position. Tagged through the A bales, threw his aim off. He's still got a kill, but for a response. And it's shots. Remember, Andrew's got no armor here, so he will melt as soon as the bullets get near him. Fur. Chance here. Keep going on this. There's still a chance. The problem is that Fur is sneaking around as always behind them. Couldn't land it. Shazam, I was going to say, might be a bit of a surprise, but apparently not. Yeah, he does get one back. AK picked up in Balm. He's got a chance, but he's got no positioning, and Tarek finds him before Fur even comes back into it. It is map Stance. points for Shazam. AWP, though, is going to get absolutely wrecked because Android's flash far sooner than he was expecting and couldn't defend his teammates' backside. The rotations have to come in. Three players toward the B site. Bomb not yet planted. It was the one kill they got was the bomb carrier, Stewie. Dropping that temporarily does at least allow the rotations to get closer to the site. But they have to go. Two kits in play. A single flash. That is all Fallen. He's waiting. He's got an easy shot on the first. Furs already found the eight. Fallen knows where the second one is. Stan gets at least the kill in return. But it's MIBR that'll advance.